Hi everybody. This is a tour of my garden from the year 2020. Here I'm sharing some photos of highlights of the garden through this year. Here's the vegetable garden. It's an old photo of my dog Bandito in the garden. And I have sweet alisum planted around the beds. There's garlic chives. The birds love the fresh water. And early in 2020, we lost our beloved dog, Bandito. And so this was a new garden this spring, a memorial garden for him with obedient flowers and um, delphinium. I planted some foxgloves this year and angelonia is my favorite and some white mydland ground cover roses. The garden's so young, it's still starting out. Um, here we walk into the main part of the garden. Got some purple cone flower on our left. There's some photos of it through the seasons. There's our garden shed. I believe those are powwow, purple cone flower, and the bumblebees love it. Some peonies. I believe these are Sarah Bernhardt. And some crinkle white peonies. We've got lots of cat mint planted around the garden, you'll see. Some Russian sage. There's a lot of the cat mint. And a juga ground cover. And there's the Queen of Sweden rose. I've really worked hard to grow roses. Um, there we've got the fairy. They're a lot of work and they're difficult to grow in my zone four USA, but I keep trying. It's our arbor we made out of cattle panels with some green beans. We got Rosarian Uterson growing along it. Such a beautiful flower. Some clematis. And then we've also got hardy kiwi vines planted growing inside of it. They have not produced fruit yet. Here we've got our blueberry bushes. We have about, oh gosh, I think 16 blueberry bushes, lots of strawberries, some white strawberries, pineapple strawberries, and raspberries. Those are twice bearing raspberries. They bear in the summer and again in the fall till frost and they're just delicious. Our neighbors gave us some bushes and helped us plant them. And here we call the rock garden. Um, I used to have water in it, but it was hard to maintain the fountain. Uh, we've got all sorts of cool rocks we've collected from our loved ones homes in here. Some more green beans. We've got some milkweed here. That some of our little tadpoles that have grown up love to hang out in. We named him Monarch. He was there every day for a few weeks. Real nice little gray tree frog. And this is our orchard. We've got Honey Crisp and Kinder Crisp and Gala and Golden Delicious. Um, all sorts of different apples planted. Here's our um, compost bin that my husband made. There's some more cat mint along the fence line. And in the fall, we get aster growing along the fence and there's some monarchs there. Here we've got Somerset and Edelweiss grapes growing. Although I will say that the rose shapers and the Japanese beetle always, beetles always get the grapes before us. Mm. And last year we had a good crop of apples. 
our first real good year at this garden is about four years old when this video was taken. Here we've got golden raspberries, also from our neighbors. They are so delicious and it's really special when you can get plants from friends and family and they can live on generation to generation. Here's the path I put in in the spring of 2020. I got some reclaimed bricks from a used shop and um, broke up some stone pavers. Um, the burgundy plant you see there is red garnet amaranth. And here we've got cucumbers. We love to grow mini munch, mini munch cucumbers, the small ones. And they're just so delicious and crispy and fresh all the time. And we've got our pepper plants, some green bell peppers. I believe last year that was a potato bed there. And here we've got a few more blueberry bushes planted. Now this is our children's garden. Each of our children has their own bed that they plant. And in theory, they were supposed to maintain it, but usually I have to take care of that. This is orange sulfur cosmos planted around it to create a nice little hedge. And I've got some arborvitae trees planted around it to help create a wall someday, but I just planted those in the spring of 2020. Uh, my son, who was seven at the time, helped lay those pavers. We've got some sunflowers. This one just grew up wild in my daughter's garden bed. We really loved that. Um, some black-eyed Susans. I'm making a video. <laughs> there we are with those mini munch cucumbers. <laughs> Again, with the purple, I'm sorry, with the orange sulfur cosmos and the bumblebees just love them. It's so great to see all the bees and the butterflies surrounding them. The garden is definitely alive. Some of the little friends that my kids picked out from Hobby Lobby. There's a fox I painted. We've got a few birds scattered about in there too. And we put that pond in, started in the fall of 2019 and finished it in the spring of 2020. more white mitoland ground cover rose. So beautiful and it just blooms so prolifically. Uh, here we have white cups and saucer cosmos. Those did really well and again the bugs love them. I think there's a little white spider in this one. Really cool. There you've got purple phlox in the background as well. And that's Creeping Virginia. or And here we've got our little gray tree frogs that live in the windowsill that hang out in the pond at night. It's just filled with them. And some catmint. I had just planted this and just built that path and planted around it in the spring. So it's pretty young still. We've got some more cups and saucers, Cosmos. Those ones I was really excited about. They turned out so beautifully and I saved the seeds from them. Here was my amazingly large ones. Got a little sedum and spirea there. And here it is in the spring with the cat mint. And here it is later with this uh, sp spirea growing. It's a little hummingbird. And this path view right here just changes uh, probably every couple weeks it looks different. It's just so beautiful to watch it change. Again, we've got the red garnet amaranth. That's an ancient seed. You can eat the young leaves in a salad or you can eat the seeds. You can sprout them and eat the sprouts. Um, it's 
just a wonderful plant. Definitely the highlight of my garden, my favorite thing about it. We usually plant potatoes in those half whiskey barrels. And this is the herb garden. I put this in one day while my husband was at work. He was pretty surprised when he came home. <laughs> that was um, chamomile and here's some more little rocks I've painted and put in there. Some salvia and there's a nice garden spider friend we had. Nice view of the shed. We've got some chives, some lemon thyme up there. The lemon thyme smells so good. Um, I recently planted in 2021 a new garden along the path, and I'll share that with you at the end of this season. I'll make a new video and share how things are changing. And at the end of the season, the amaranth flops over and just looks amazing. It's really striking. Another path we made out of just breaking up pavers, just cheap pavers from Walmart. And there's the door to the shed. We wanted old Dutch door. It was all the hardwares from Hobby Lobby and I distressed it to try to make it look like it had been there forever, which it's only about two years old in this video. So I think it worked. It's good. It's more of the purple phlox. And here's that pond. I said we started in 2019 in the fall. And we put and in spring of 2020 we finished it and to our surprise it became filled with tadpoles which was the highlight of my kids summer it was so great watching these tadpoles grow and feeding them lettuce bits and cleaning out the algae and it was a really fun task um, some beautiful rocks we found with our neighbors and here's a little tadpole who grew up into a real frog and this one too you can still see his little tail nub and there's one of our little toad friends we'd find toads and put them in the pond and they were all so happy lots of life in that pond the birds loved it the, there, we had dragonfly larvae in there which would eat the tadpoles but then the adult frogs would eat the dragonfly larvae and the dragonflies and then the swallow the swallows would come and eat the dragonflies and one time i saw a frog try to eat a hummingbird he leapt on it and uh, so much life around that pond. Really great to see. So here's kind of a an overview here. You can see all the cosmos forming a hedge around the children's garden. And it's going to close with some hazelnut and some Juneberry or serviceberry. Um, so thank you for watching my video and the tour of the garden and I'll have a new one this fall. Thanks.